Great to meet you and talk about this film. You are the new addition to the Horseman family. Tell yes. us a bit about Lula. Well, Lula, as you said, is, is the new girl on the block. Uh, she enters the story having been a huge fan of the Horseman, uh, but now she has an opportunity to join up with uh, these guys that she's fully obsessed with. So she has to definitely prove herself a bit at first, but then they eventually accept her and then go on uh, to their adventures. She has this dexterity that's quite <coughs> impressive, uh, especially for a girl. So did you develop that kind of body language dexterity as her, or is it all uh, the magic of movie making? Oh, I mean, why, what specifically are you referring you to? You know, the, the, the way she moves, her fastness, <coughs> her like, her, uh, you know, uh, uh, aptitude to do things in a very fast, subtle way. Yeah, uh, they really, they tried to train us as best they could uh, in magic camp for a few weeks and then sort of throughout filming we would always have to go back there and kind of tweak our skills. Um, but it's an interesting thing to try to fake being a magician because in order to be a magician, especially magicians of this caliber, you would have had to have worked your entire life hours and hours a day. So it was this combination of movie magic plus real magic um, to at least attempt to make it look believable. How much did you discover about the world of illusionists being part of this film? Obviously, as you say, these are very well prepared people who work very hard. Yes, uh, I learned a fair amount. We had three magicians on set with us at all times, kind of helping us out and hanging out with us, which was great. And I mean, in many ways, it's just another facet of performing, you know, it's just another wing of live performance. And so, not only do you have to have this unbelievable skill set, but you do have to have a stage presence and you know, some type of unique persona that makes people want to watch your show. So we're very different, but there are definitely similarities. Of course, it's the art of performance. Sure. Yeah. As, as, as it is. How much did you enjoy that kind of ensemble? Everybody seems to be, you know, getting along so well. It's a group of people that you enjoy turning up, turning up on set with. 100%. There was not one day in four months that I didn't want to go to work. I couldn't wait to go back to work. Um, and our hours were, you know, movie hours. And sometimes we would shoot six day weeks a lot towards the end. And at a certain point you do get tired and you just don't want to go to work. I never experienced that. This was like a fun, party every single day. I adore all of them. A lot of London and a lot of Macau. Where did you get to go? Because it's also the magic of movie making. <laughs> yes, we were mostly in London and then we were in Macau for the last 10 days or so. And what do you think of those two locations as being on a film set? Well, London, I had never shot there before and, and it's now one of my favorite places on earth and also one of my favorite places to work. Um, it's just a special city. So fun, so beautiful and they really have a thriving film business now, um, so hopefully I'll get to keep going back. And Macau was just like a trip. It was very unlike any place I've ever seen. This strange combination of Las Vegas, but in China, with Portuguese influences, and the, the, I've never been to a place quite like that. It was fascinating. Especially in the context of the film, I think it's very well apropos. <laughs> Thank you.